Uh, I work with the Invest AC project. Uh, let's make it, you know, uh, in fact, in this session. Uh, I just wanted to know how many of you read the Times of Oman today morning? Yeah, because the Times of Oman is talking about this report uh, uh, today morning. And we are very happy, you know, here in the ministry that, you know, today itself we decided to do this uh, uh, session. It's not that we planned it, nor we told, uh, you know, Times of Oman to do, cover that article to get more coverage for our workshop. Uh, another question, how many of you have got this questionnaire from World Bank for this year's report? Okay, thank you. There are, there are a couple of you. So, you know, we have got the right audience and we have got the right forum. So, let's, let's get it started. Uh, it's, it's a very short presentation. We will give you an insight into ease of doing business report you know, for uh, the benefit of uh, the larger world here. Uh, we will give you an update about especially what Ministry of Commerce is trying to do with respect to investments project. Uh, what is the impact and achievements that we have done till now? Uh, specifically, we wanted to focus about our brand new feature which will affect big time this report, you know, this World Bank's uh, ranking and report. And uh, we, I'll take a quick, uh, uh, you know, short walkthrough of this uh, this questionnaire so that will help if anyone is planning to you know, respond to World Bank about that aspect. So, uh, we in ministry are, you know, quite serious about, uh, you know, this report. That's why, you know, we have read every single page and every single word of this report, you know, in, uh, this is the latest report uh, from World Bank 2015. Uh, the team from ministry also met uh, the World Bank team who is part of uh, doing this uh, report. We got their insights and we got their guidance and we got their support. Uh, most probably many of you who have already participated know, know this. The World Bank evaluates uh, 189 countries based on these parameters. It may not be very you know, clear you know, thanks to the projector but you know, these are the parameters. Uh, if you look at the Oman's ranking in 2015, in each of these parameters, uh, what we need to understand is that you know, they look at various aspects of the ministry. It's not Ministry of Commerce who drives this entire list of doing business uh, report. So if you see you know, like paying taxes, we are, you know, we got a ranking of 10. Uh, registering property, it has got 19. Dealing with construction permit, 49. Trading across borders, 60. Getting electricity, resolving insolvency, 9 and 12. So it is, there are different rankings in different uh, parameters. So, in each of these parameters, you get different rankings. And overall, Oman is 66 out of 189 countries in the 2015 one. What we also need to keep in mind is that not everything is done by Ministry of Commerce. You know, it's a collective government of uh, Oman. Effort. So, if you see for paying taxes, at the moment, uh, probably many of you know, the Secretary General of Taxation is working on an integrated tax management system, which will also help us to you know, again improve our ranking. Uh, registering property, uh, Ministry of Housing has got a land request system uh, in a simple uh, in application. In Muscat Municipality, the building permit system is simplified. Uh, you know, there is an online system. They have processed already around 33,000 uh, transactions through the system. And not only that, you know, you know, they have kind of re-simplifying the whole process. They have already engaged the ENY. ENY has given them a process simplification. So, there is a lot of you know, work happening in that space as well. In trading across borders, ROP Customs uh, is doing currently the pilot uh, where they are launching the project Bayan, uh, where it's a uh, single window customs clearance uh, portal. Uh, again, there is also a lot of process simplification happening there. Uh, in getting electricity, you know, they, they measure things like, uh, you know, how reliable is the electricity connection here, how fast we can get in, is, are how many electricity companies are here in Oman. As we know, there are, you know, a couple of electricity companies and, you know, it's their, their domain. Uh, resolving uh, insolvency, you know, public prosecution is the entity, you know, who's responsible in that space. Uh, now, getting credit, uh, you know, to start a business, you know, you need credit. So, Especially, you know, the, the, the for the SME sector, you know, there is uh, Riyadh Fund, uh, Al Draft Fund, SME Authority. All of them are, you know, kind of helping, you know, to to get credit, uh, you know, for the small and uh, medium enterprises. Again, protecting minority investors. Uh, it is a bit of, uh, you know, public prosecution, uh, CMA, uh, MOSI. You know, all of us you know, contribute into that space. And this is, you know, one space, you know, starting a business where InvestEC project plays a major role. Uh, 
uh, uh, similarly enforcing contracts is uh, you know another area in that uh, Ministry of Commerce and public uh, prosecution also contributes you know in those uh, parameters. Now, if you if you you know if you read today Morning Times of uh, Oman's uh, report, you know, this is exactly what you know, they have kind of tried to highlight. But uh, probably one thing which they did not really you know highlight or did not really come out is that. Yes, Oman is 66th and you know, probably the second uh, toughest place to do business in the GCC. But if you really look at that 5 and 7, you know, Oman has got the best number of procedures and the fastest the number of time of doing business among all the countries. Uh, you know, the difference where it comes is on you know, the minimum capital and in the cost of income.